Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there on the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're gonna be any good, but I can promise that we're gonna have some fun, so if you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, cause here we go! First game of today's episode is called Clean Paper, and I am so happy that that is a draft's tale because we would be in a different situation if it wasn't. Once the game starts, there is no pause menu. Are you sure you want to start? I never pause the games anyway. I go all the way. Finally, I was waiting for you to hit that button. Okay, stop looking at me like that, por favor. Okay, let me introduce myself. I am an interdimensional being who naturally has a great desire to kill. But you are lucky. I have brought you here from your dimensional plane to give you an important task. The prize is that I won't kill you, so do it right. I need you to find some toilet paper and bring it to me. You want me to bring toilet paper so you can wipe your big old giraffe ass? Damn, this dude need to get that neck cracked. Oh my goodness, G Willikers Batman type stuff. So you want me to go in this- hey. Okay, I thought he disappeared! Oh wait, there's toilet paper right there. What am I doing? Okay. Oh! <sighs> Excellent. Now take it from me. I certainly think this toilet paper is too small for me. Okay, I don't think we'll find one my size around here. So find three more like this and bring it to me. My recommendation, look in that other bathroom over there. Okay, so who is that giraffe that poked its head when I actually got the toilet paper the first time. You want me to go in here? Okay. This looked like a game that I played a while back called The Toilet Rooms. I don't like this. I do not like this one bit. There are way too many toilets in here and not enough toilet paper for that ass. All right, let's just keep going everybody. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. There you go. Got that? Come on, stop playing with me, baby girl. Stop playing with me. What is that? What is that? It's a freaking chimp. Okay. It was a freaking random ass chimpanzee. Probably trying to wipe its own ass. I just turned back time to bring you back from the dead. I need those papers. Oh, whoa. Please don't do that again. Oh my. You son of a. He was right there the whole time? Bro, relax, relax, relax. Relax. Bro. Is the toilet paper the same every time? It's the same every time. Alright, where are you? Where are you? Get over here, you bitch. Where are you at? Ah! Okay, I'm sorry. This is freaky for some reason. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm just gonna go this way. Come on, Jay. There was nothing to the right. So go to the left. That's all we gotta do, right? That's all we gotta do. There's another one. Alright, one more. One more for the homie DJ Screw. Come on. Where is the toilet paper at? You son of a bitch. I'm running out real quick. Because I can't stand this. Can you just wipe your ass with two? Double ply? Please, Mr. Giraffe. Please wipe that ass. Bro, I hate this. Fuck. Ah! What the heck? Oh my goodness. Bro, I am so sweaty right now. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh shit. Go, go, go. Can't believe I hit them high notes. Yeah, leave me alone. Let me hit my high notes in peace. Where the hell is that toilet paper at? I found two toilet papers. Maybe that was the one that I found earlier. Yeah, maybe I'm just thinking things. Because I could have sworn the last one was. Ah! <laughs> I'm done. I don't care. If the giraffe can't wipe its own ass, so be it. Next game today's episode is called Squidward. What's wrong with you? And we are not gonna talk about what it looks like Squidward's doing right there by himself in his own house. <laughs> but there's a lot of these Squidward, SpongeBob horror games. These game developers know something that we don't because one day I went out on a call from Patrick. He said that he heard a certain sound of a gunshot in Squidward's house. I arrived at the address. Patrick was already standing there. He said that I would check the Squidward house because he was scared for his friend. He also said about the loss of Spongebob, he did not go out for a walk since yesterday, and he did not find him at his house. Patrick asked to find him somewhere. That sentence didn't make sense. All right, so I'm playing as this cop with a fat old dumpy, my goodness. Squidward? 
Oh, damn you, handsome bastard. Where are you? Oh, fuck. What's going on here? Why are there always random furnitures in the house? Oh, shotgun. Come on now. Give me the shotty for the thotties. At least the knifey for the lifeies. Please. Give me anything. Like, I hate it when there's guns in games or things that make sense in real life, but the characters in games won't grab it. That shit is annoying. It's more annoying than a dingleberry in an ass that you can't get out. Do I go here? Oh, I need four keys for that? I guess we need four keys to unlock his sex dungeon or something. You only have one lock on something that you're trying to keep safe, but four locks? Like, that's a big secret. Like, it sounds like you're compensating for something. Can we give a round of applause to this dedicated officer, though? Like, man's really risking it all for minimum wage. Because he looked like a mall cop. He don't look like Bikini Bottom Police Department or anything. Dude look like he came straight from his shift at Winnie Hut Juniors or something. Ah! Whoa! I didn't even know anybody was down here. Don't tell me I have to do it again. No. What? Yo, get me out of here. I need an ending where I just get out of here. That's the smartest thing that we can do. There's one. Okay. I think I already got that one before. I actually don't remember. But yeah, I didn't know I had to avoid Squidward the whole time. I thought I was just down here. I thought he was actually here by himself. And Squidward was in that room with the four locks. But this is gonna be a fucky-wucky if I have to keep getting all four keys. Oh, God! Bro, now this man's everywhere? This man just putting his freaking pickle nose in my butthole? Please be in the same spots. Please be in the same spots. Okay, they're in the same spots. So, as soon as I get down here, just make an immediate right. And then I'll find the first key. But as soon as I see red eyes glowing in the distance, just go. Just do a 180 skrrr and just leave. I think this is it. Right? Yes! Got it. Okay. Where the fuck do I go now? Um, acting like I know the layout of this house. I think I go this way. If he gets me again, I'm next in this game. I don't give a shit. This actually took me a long time. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Turn me up, turn me up! Come on now. Spongy! Come here, baby girl! Spongebob said, Hello, officer. I'm very glad to see you. Please take me out of here. It's very scary here. I heard the screams of fish. Please, help, please. I miss those AI-generated Spongebob voices. Officer said, Don't panic, Spongebob. I'll get you out of here. Follow me, and don't be afraid. Even though I'm afraid. I'm the one who's afraid. I got out of that damned house and saved Spongebob. I will never forget what I saw. There was a Squidward, but didn't look good. Several guys followed me. I went home. And they went to explore the house. Squidward was no longer in the house. They were shocked by what they saw. There were corpses in the house. These were the very missing fish. They also found what appeared to be crabby patties made from missing fish. From what they said, they deduced that Squidward wanted to go into illegal business. Bikini Bottom will never forget this. And I'll never forget what I just read because I didn't understand it. So we're gonna check out one more game in today's episode. This one's called Mushi's Kitchen, and I don't think that I would eat anything that this dude makes, no offense. Todd said, or us said, there we go. The kitchen is all cleaned up, and we can finally go home. I should speak to Mitch before he leaves. Afterwards, I'll speak to Veronica in her office. I don't care about Mitch. I'll talk shit about Mitch, because Mitch is a little bitch storage area. Let me see my ugly face. Ew! Why'd I look like that? Bull cut haired fuck? And what is this? I think that's something that comes into play later. But yeah, let's talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to this guy. Hello. Mitch said, We got the kitchen cleaned up quickly tonight, Todd. Hey, if you see my car keys around here, let me know. I can't leave the kitchen without them. Like I said, everybody, Mitch is a little bitch. But let me check out the gender neutral bathroom. Toilet guy said, Man, this shit is bad. I've been in here for about 30 minutes. Crap, are you kidding me? There's no toilet paper in here? If anyone's out there, please chuck me some toilet paper. I'm in the third stall. Hurry, I have to get home to my wife and four children. Well, that's your own problem. But here's the toilet paper. So, third stall, right? There you go. Ugh! You good? Got a clean wipe in? That's not the one, huh? Okay, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Bop. There we go. Sweet. Oh, whoa. All right. Um, don't wash your hands, I guess. Can we go inside here? Nope. Can't do anything. And now they're breakdancing. Great. Because they got a clean ass wipe in. That's Aww. good to see. All right. Yeah. Um, I thought you had to get back to your four children, but they can wait. They can wait. When it's dancing time, the kids can wait. Hi, Todd. Before you go tonight, I'm going to need to speak with Mushi. 
In case you didn't know, we've made the decision to retire Mushi and rebrand our kitchen. Times are changing, and kids these days find Mushi to be creepy. Go speak to Mushi for me. I left a retirement gift in the janitor's closet that you should give him after you speak to him. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a top-tier gift if it's something from the janitor's closet, but this is Mushi. Hey, Mushi. I have something to tell you, pal. Veronica just informed me that her and management have decided to retire you and rebrand the kitchen. I know it sucks, but times are changing. Just wait here, buddy. I'm gonna go get something for you. And don't look at me like that, man. What are you gonna do with that crowbar, Mushi? That is not a spatula. I thought this was called Mushi's Kitchen. Bro's about to put me in a body bag. But before that, there's the janitor's closet. I don't like it when the head bobs when you move in games. Like, that is annoying, and I think that's a key. Got it. Okay. What? Um... What the f What the heck? I thought he was standing right behind me. I'm not even gonna lie. I heard the door open and I was like, Mushi, please do not clap my cheeks. Let me give you the gift first. Hey, yo, Todd. You can't go in the workshop today. I've got a new mascot in the works. In case you haven't heard yet, Mushi's being retired. It sucks to see him go, but hey, it's time for a change. Have a nice day, Todd. Before we give the gift to Mushi, I kind of want to give the keys to Mitch. Where is Mitch? And that person's still breakdancing. All right, cool. Where the hell is the guy? Mitch? Mitch? I guess Mitch left. Yeah, Mitch is not here. All right, well, I guess I'll give the gift to Mushi. That's weird. Mushi's gone. It's not like him to wander off like that. I should look around for him. If I can't find him, I'll ask Veronica for help. Hey again, Todd. How did Mushi take the news? Did he like his gift? That's a no. Did the power really have to cut out now? Uh, go turn on the backup power in the storage area. And I have a complimentary horror game flashlight that I just pulled out of my bunghole. Okay. He's still breakdancing in the dark. Gotta give them our respects. Like, we gotta pay our respects to that. Because, damn, how are you gonna see what you're doing? But anyway, let me flip this thing. Got it. All right, power's back on. I should get back to Veronica and tell her about Mushi going missing. Oh boy, I think we're about to go missing in a second. In a second. Where the hell did Mitch go? Wait, the breakdancer's gone. My safety security blanket is gone. Like, that was the one thing that kept me calm in this game. Veronica. Oh, God damn it, Veronica! Oh, God! Veronica, I can't believe this is happening. I guess I know who's responsible for this. I need to get out of here quick. Oh, Mushi. Mushi, chill. You can't leave, Todd. Wait, I didn't do anything. I thought I was your favorite co-worker. Wait. Oh. Okay. I guess this is the breakdancing area. This is really the break room. Um, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go over this way. <laughs> He's being replaced. A freaking trash can stop me. Is this dude, like, literally sharding on my face? I have to restart that again? I'm gonna go here. And wait, give me that crowbar. Got it. Yo! Whoa! Can I go in here? I can't go in there. Great. I'm just gonna sneak my way over here. Why are you over there? Hold on. Dude. They need to just calm down. What the hell is going on here? I don't want to see this shit no more. Please. I have children myself. I don't want to see this. Go away, Mushi. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please! No! Ah! I almost made it out. I suck. You suck. Your mom sucks. Go, go, go. 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 Yes! What? Ah! Oh. Sorry, Mushi. Mushi Your ugly ass mad. face scared me. A local man by the name of Todd who works at the popular Mushi's Kitchen claims he survived an attack. Bunhole News, Aging my favorite stop. news station. Love Bunhole News. All right, everybody, but that's gonna do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude. <laughs>